Hello everyone, I welcome to the design and analysis of algorithms lecture series. In today's class, uh, we discuss about that how to uh, do the bubble sort. So, uh, bubble sort is comes under that uh, in the last class we have seen the selection sort. So, in the bubble sort is comes also comes under the brute force design technique. So, there is a general problem solving technique. Uh, we are find all the every possibilities. From that possibilities, we had pick the uh, best one that is a brute force design technique. So the bubble sort. Now we will see how the bubble sort is works. So the bubble sort means uh, it compare the adjacent elements of the list and swap if they are out of order. So compare the adjacent elements and the adjacent elements which one is the less than means we have to swap the elements. Doing it repeatedly will bubble up largest, largest element to the last portion of the list. So every uh, pass the largest element is goes to the uh, last portion of the array. So first pick up the first element compare with the adjacent elements and pick up the second one compare. So the adjacent elements are compared at last of the uh, every pass the uh, last element contains the maximum element. For example we have a 7 elements means uh, the n minus we have here also we are using the two for loops one is an i and j. The i loop is executed in n minus 2 times and uh, j loop is executed is n minus 2 minus i the time so yeah for example the a value of n is equal to the size of n is equal to 7 means the i loop is executed in 5 times and j loop is executed in n minus 2 minus i times in the first pass uh, suppose uh, the same example here also we have taken 89 45 68 90 29 34 and 17 in the first pass uh, the first iteration we have a uh, five six uh, j iterations uh, in that first we compare that 89 and 45 is compared if it is uh, which one is smaller means we have to swap again the 89 and 68 is compared the 89 is greater means we swap the uh, 68 and 89 at last of the um, zeroth pass the uh, jth zeroth pass iteration the 17 the the result uh, at the end of the uh, zero uh, zero to pass the largest element is here is the 90 90 is comes under the last uh, position of the given array so same way we are repeating this process so the i loop is executed in total number of uh, five iterations the j uh, at every i loop the j loop is executor is n minus 2 minus i times so uh, here we are using that uh, in that algorithm the basic operation is a uh, com key comparison of a of j is less than a of minimum means we are going to swap so in that one the pathina we have uh, the analysis of algorithm the first step is it what is the input size is n the basic operation is a key comparison so the third one how much time the basic operation is executed here you are using the two loops one is the ith loop ith loop is i is equal to 0 to n minus 2 times the jth loop is executed from 0 to n minus 2 minus 1 times so, n minus 2 minus i times so here you are using the uh, two for loops means um, finally we get that efficiency of time efficiency is order of n squared so the number of swap here is the order of n squared so this is about the bubble sort so the bubble sort is comes under that brute force techniques in that bubble start uh, the adjacent elements are compared and every uh, pass at the end of the pass the largest element is bubbles to the um, bubbles up at the last element last portion of the given array so the same uh, in that process in the, in the given process the bubble sorting is done thank you